Gee, the western sun shines bright on the yellow and green. A fan base so fired up for a team that they think can do big things in its new big league. Primetime football on the Big Ten Network. Jordan James gets the first touch of the season and patiently makes it a six-yard game. Jordan James up the middle. So after the stoppage for the injury, first down for Dylan Gabriel. And he checks it down to Terrence Ferguson, the star tight end, who weaves his way for another first down. Matthias Bertram was there with the pressure. Gabriel, another quick one. This time it's Kenyon Sadiq. The true sophomore who they can't say enough good things about. That's Tez Johnson who set an Oregon receiving record last year going in motion. And Gabriel's looking for him. His first catch of the year. And he spins out for a first down. Third down and the Ducks can pick up a first down shy of the goal line. Gabriel. Johnson. Touchdown Oregon. Well, that's a great job by Evan Stewart. Watch him right here at the wide receiver position. He's going to run a little bit of a slant. He's going to take the high angle and get right in the way of the DB. Look, it's not a rub. He tries to avoid the defender. That's how the rule works. Perfect execution. Nice little assist. Here's another look. Opens up Tez Johnson. Slant. Out route. That's an old West Coast offensive principle. Atticus Sappington. The transfer from Oregon State. On for the point after. And he's got it. Here on second down and eight. It's Alex Moore, the tight end that goes in motion. Lane under pressure and he gets sacked. Jordan Birch with his first sack of the year. This guy coming into this season is who's going to be the game record. To the left of the screen, watch him work and work and work against Aiden Kanapik, who's somebody they really are high on at Idaho at the left tackle position. That... Jordan James to take it. And he slips down shy of midfield. So after two three and outs to start this game, Back-to-back -back first downs for the Vandals. Lane with time until he doesn't have it. Ball came out, looked like he got it back. Sacked by Mateo Uyunglele off the blind side. This is a comfort sack. It's also an effort sack. How about at the top of the screen? Mateo Uyunglele just wins the one-on-one -on -one battle. And how about the coverage? It's open here. Watch receiver one, receiver two. They're going to run right into each other. It's wide open here, guy. There's a chance for that explosive play. Already with the touchdown today to pass Bo Nix and tie Baker Mayfield for the most all time. He's going to hand it to Noah Whittington, who slips two tacklers on first down. Third down and five. Good protection this time. And there's Kyle Casper with his fourth career catch and a third down conversion. His offensive line's a little bit in his lap, and how about this route? Corner route thrown behind him, opens up his hips. Beautiful grab, and he's got such a big frame at 6'6". High points the ball, tucks it away from pressure. Let it roll. Born in Moscow, and, and once dad went to his birthplace to coach, he thought it was a perfect fit. Dylan Gabriel cuts it loose, threads the needle, and it's complete. Trey Sean Holden. His gradual level right over the fingertips of Zach Johnson right there, not even touched. Perfect location. Eight for three on third down so far today. Lane throws, and it's picked off. Brandon Johnson. The transfer from Duke making an immediate impact. They run the same exact play that got a P.I. earlier, and that is battling for the ball and turning to see it. On the P.I., Turner never looked. On the pick, we look at the transfer. His eyes completely turned. How about the ball skills? True possession. Does he have it? He's got it. He's in. 
And we got some juice in Austin. Going to get start to get a lot of that respect around the country as a back. He was over seven yards a carry last year to lead the Pac-12. And here he is just sliding his way for a first down. He's got all three. He's six yards a carry so far in this game. Gabriel stepping up and fires complete. Kenyon Sadiq, his second catch of the day, breaks a tackle and gets down near the 30-yard line. That's a pick of a 26. Already today for the true sophomore. And a quick pass to Tez Johnson. He's got blocking in front. Johnson gets upended inside the 15 by Tommy McCormick. They'll get him the ball every which way. He's got a pickup of 18. Gabriel, all the time in the world to connect with Patrick Herbert. His first catch today, and he's down to the six. Third down here after the timeout. They bring the fullback into the game for the first down to clear the path for Jordan James. Zach Grace, his first appearance, and he's the first one to greet James. There is not a category that has a fullback in. You see right there, how about Zach Grace leading the way, kick out block, touchdown Ducks. Mighty Oregon, mighty I formation? What do you think about that here? And it's good. 80% of that list were not huge recruits, him included. When they got to their institution of choice, they just went to work. He's continued that. There's Terrence Ferguson, and he gets the Ducks out of the shadow of their end zone. His simple pitch and catch. Noel Whittington gets the handoff here after Jordan James had the touchdown run on the last drive, and he gets ripped down after a pickup of six. You take a look at tonight's advanced stat. That's it right there, sponsored by IFS.AI. The middle eight as Tez Johnson gets out across the 35. And second down and 10 here for Oregon. Gabriel checks it down to the back. Noel Whittington. Whittington slips away, leaps over a man, and he's near a first down. He got the first down, so it's first and 10. Gabriel, right back to him. Whittington stays on the ground this time and gets another first down. Gabriel. There's James. He's got a first down. That'll stop the clock while they set it. Idaho was 0 for 6 on third down in the first half. Pressure coming. And that blows up the pass to the tight end, Alex Moore. Brandon Johnson already has a pick today that is having one heck of a game in his Oregon debut. But Marcus Mariota, like Dylan from Hawaii, his idol growing up. Here's Jordan James through a gaping hole and out across the 35 and near the 40, a pickup of 18 yards. He's hit 11 of his last 12 pass attempts, the only incompletion was the spike. That's the first catch of the day for Justice Lowe. In fact, that's Justice's first career catch. Help out. Eli Cummings. Derek Harmon right there to rip him down. And now it's third down, where Oregon's been great on defense today. And that is a new emphasis this year we should add two on the lines. There's Tez Johnson with a clutch catch. The connection between those two has been strong today. Oregon has not scored since the first half. Gabriel pumping laser to Terrence Ferguson for a first down. And he said, that's the same thing that's going to happen this week. Can we do the same thing that Georgia Tech did with Treshawn Holden with another first down? And, and really get this defense that's so close to the line of scrimmage. Can they back them off? Gabriel finds Whittington again, and Whittington makes the first man miss. No, uh, Whittington well, that's on what, the reception. Dan Third down here for the Oregon Ducks. Gabriel, quick throw. Tez Johnson went backwards, then broke a tackle and got the first down. If he gets tackled there, it's fourth down. Here's Whittington. Oh, he gets a block. 
and then stumbles forward. He screams in despair. He was sniffing end zone. Jordan James back into the game at running back. Third time we've seen Oregon in the pistol formation tonight. James straight ahead, breaks one, can't break two. Tommy McCormick got a hold of his ankle, a pickup of seven yards at a bar on Dexter Lake. So much of that film shot here in Eugene as we start the fourth quarter. Dylan Gabriel on second down to Terrence Ferguson, and he gets down inside the 10. A test they didn't expect, perhaps, this crowd. Here's Noah Whittington. And he gets down to about the five yard line. We'll see. In the first half. That's clean and straight through. So Oregon stalls out after the penalty, but is able to extend it to a two score game. But you got a feeling now they know they can do something special as both are in the huddle again. So Jack Lane, the starter, he calls the play. And now he's going to go out to the top of the screen. And Wagner remains in the game. He takes it. Looking to run. Wagner cut down. Kobe Savage. And that's a loss of two yards. And I think they've missed him in the middle of this defense. Dylan Gabriel connects with Evan Stewart. He's able to pick that off his back shoulder. Evan Stewart on the reception. Sometimes it looks so easy for this Oregon offense, and you look up, they've got 17 points. Can you compete on the stages that you're at as a QB to be connected to the only snap you play? Here's Jordan James with a first down. A big Jordan chunk for him James. out to the 44-yard line. Gabriel to go, uh, Jordan James again. And the pile gets pushed. James will not go down, and he earns himself a first down. Seven yards on the pickup, but he took 28 steps to get. That was amazing. Gabriel checks it down again. Jordan James. James racing to the sideline and he's got another first down after a pickup of 11 yards 19 touches for jordan james today he gets off the field noah whittington is on dylan gabriel there's terrence ferguson ferguson the linebacker gets down near the right uh, the uh, tight end it looks like a linebacker sometimes we get they snap it gabriel tez johnson first down touchdown Oregon. A clutch time conversion. Start looking at this. They've already started. Yeah, that's a touchdown to me. TLDR, touchdown. <laughs> Extra point good. Pressure, and Mateo Uyunga gets home. In waves. Look at the hands from number 10. Perfect job. It looked like they're trying to set up a screen again. Nothing doing. Pressure again. Ball comes out. Idaho recovers it. The recovery's around the spot of where Lane got hit. So either way, it's going to be fourth down and forever. Derek Harmon, 55. And Jordan Birch, how about the twist, the athleticism? This front just keeps coming and coming. Wagner. Pressure again. Wagner. He was trying to get it to Dwyer, and Reed made an acrobatic interception. Reed saw the route coming the whole time. Top of the screen, watch the athleticism flip his hips. Go pick this thing, pluck it out of the air, and I love the sideline. Just eruption, elation. Spent a lot of time with Jerry DiNardo 
in the camp tour. He said yesterday he thinks Dan Lanning's the most talented coach he's ever been around. So he's going to get tested now, right? This is a moment for him and his team. But they got to win. They got to win. They're 1-0. With the win, Oregon extends its nation's longest non-conference home winning streak to 33 games. 24 to 14. Ducks are 1-0 in the Big Ten era.